Hi guys, it's Mia, and I know I haven't made a video in a long, long time on this channel. I'm sorry, I've been very busy with school, but I'm here finally with my perfume and scents collection. I've been wanting to make it forever, like months now, and I have it sitting right here in front of me so I can easily access it. So I'm not going to jibber and jabber. I'm going to go ahead and get started so I can get through this. So I'm going to start in the back of my collection, which is my taller perfumes, and they are organized kind of... Um, just by brand and the height is also very much organized in the back there. So first I have from Bath and Body Works Country Chick. I actually discovered this. My friend was wearing it to school like last May and I was like, oh my god, I need that. So um, I found it. And it's very much a summery scent. Um, I have used quite a bit of it. I only bought it like in uh, July or August. So um, I don't use it much like it is. It's a very summery scent. But it's very, very nice and it's easily to fall in love with. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. It's Bath and Body Works. Then I have Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath and Body Works. And this is, everyone pretty much knows this one. It's a very nice wintry scent. It's like vanilla and sugar. It can be a little bit intoxicating if you put too much on, so you want to be careful with that. Then I have Paris Amour um, Shimmer Mist. I got this for Christmas from my friend Bonnie. This is a very, <laughs> what way to say it, other than very Parisian smell. You think, oh, I'll just smell it, because this hasn't been sprayed much. Yeah, it's very flowery, very springtime, and it's also glittery, so that's nice to wear on your shoulders. And um, it smells like an expensive perfume. Um, I said that weird. It smells, but it smells like an expensive perfume, but it's really not, once again, from Bath and Body Works. And then I have Dark Kiss. It's in a smaller travel size. Um, if you do buy from Bath and Body Works, I definitely suggest that you invest in smaller size ones. Um, because, if, especially if you own a lot of perfumes, you use um, a different one virtually every day. And, um, you know, I've had this one since August of 2010. <laughs> I don't wear a lot, unfortunately, but, um, you know, if, if I ever have to buy another one, I'll probably buy a smaller ones. They're cheaper, and um, you, they don't take up as much space, and um, that's virtually it, you know, and you can buy other ones. This one is definitely a nighttime scent. Um... It, it, it smells like chocolate to me, like a kind of a dark chocolate taste. Dark Kiss is a very nighttime scent, that's what I think of. When I think of scents, I think of seasons and day, time of the day, so um, I don't think of like automatic things. I just think of time of the day and seasons. And then I um, also just kind of a, as an extra, I have a little sample of the Someday. I had two of them. There's like something glittering in my eye. I think like glitter spray got on the floor. <laughs> But I got two samples a while back, and this actually smells very, very good. Um, and that. But anyway, this smells very good, actually, and I just haven't used this one because it smells so good. But, um, so I'm not going to tell you what it smells like, because I've actually forgotten what it smells like, because I hadn't worn it in a while, because I had two, and the first one I wore back, back in August. Um, but it, it smells, it's a, um, if I remember, it's a very, like, kind of flowery, um, very nice scent. And so, you know, if you want to smell like Justin Bieber, go for it. Okay, and I'll have my Paris Hilton's. I have more Paris Hilton's, but um, the majority of them are travel size, and they're not all on here. So this is just what's on my tray right now. Um, this is just the Paris Hilton perfume. Um, I actually had someone smell it a long time ago and be like, it smells like salt water. Um, it kind of has a salty smell to it. It's definitely more of a nighttime spray than anything else. It is very strong, so you need to be careful with it. But it's just the Paris Hilton perfume. It kind of has that, like, salty smell to it. Um, but it, it doesn't really smell like seawater or salt water. Then I have in travel sized Can Can. So once again, travel sized are always a good investment. This one is definitely a very strong, very cotton candy smell to it. Um, so I don't wear it a lot. I don't like very sugary smelling ones, as I have discovered. Um, and then I have Siren. And this is probably my favorite of hers. For those of you who don't know what Sirens are, they're um, Greek mythological creatures that live on this island, and they look beautiful, and um, they like, um, oh gosh, I think the island's Cyprus? I don't know. I can't remember. But they sing to, like, seafarers and bid them to their island, and they fall in love with their music and stuff, and they end up being horrible beasts, and they feed off of them and kill them and stuff. But, so basically, I guess the majority, or the purpose of naming a siren is that it's a very beautiful smell and a very alluring smell. And, um... It is. It's it's like a sweet and it's like a mix almost of these two, almost. It's very very it's it's a very good smelling one. So if if I really wanted to invest in a bigger size one of these, it would be this one. 
Mmm, smells good. I don't wear it a lot though. I don't wear a lot of perfumes because they're stronger and I go to school and I'm just um, worried about sensitive noses. So my other two travel size Paris Hilton's is another one of these and teas. And I'm not a big fan of teas, so um, not much to tell. Then I have my Victoria's Secret ones. I only have two at the moment. I would love to collect more. Um, I have Soft and Dreamy. So this is just with a splash Soft and Dreamy. Um, I actually used to spray this over my bed every night before I went to sleep, and I probably should start doing that again, but, um, it's obviously soft and dreamy. I mean, they're really good at naming perfumes. It, it makes you think of bedtime. Um, it's not, ne not necessarily meaning a night scent, but it just makes you think of bed and going to sleep. It's just a very, it's a very soft scent, basically. Um, so that's, um, that. And I just thought that I should probably show you all my lotions because I have a bunch of different lotions, but we're going to pass on that because this is just a perfume collection. And then I have Pink Fresh and Clean. And this, once again, it's very fresh, it's very clean, but it doesn't smell like laundry detergent, so that's always a plus. Um, this is probably my favorite one. Or is this the one I used to spray over my bed? I guess I did both of them at one point. Like, not at the same time, but I'd, like, switch. But it just has a very fresh, open, um, definitely springy, summertime, fresh out of the pool, fresh out of the gym class smell to it. And you're always smelling the Victoria's Secret perfumes in the locker room. Always, always, always. At least when I was in the locker room. And then I have this. Um, I don't really know what it is. I stole it from my stepmom years ago. It's nearly gone because she'd had it for years. But it says ginger scents. And it smells like ginger. For those of you who know what ginger is, um, it's like a vegetable. I don't know what ginger... <laughs> I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know, like, what is it classified as. Um, but, yeah, so it smells like ginger, basically. And um, it's just a very, I don't know, I guess that's virtually what it smells like. So it's a very earthy scent, and I like it. You know, I've had a lot of people tell me they don't like it. So I guess it just depends, but I like it, and I think it's very good for, like, music festivals and outdoorsy events in the spring or summertime. And then I have my Britney Spears. This is a fantasy. This was the first ever perfume I bought. I bought it in the seventh grade. And so... I have two opinions when I smell this, so or like memories. Some sometimes you know when you have perfumes for so long you'll have memories. So I smell this once, and I think of the seventh grade. I had this amazing Avril Lavigne Abby Dawn jacket, for, and this was like the first year that was out, and it was plaid, red and black, and it said Abby Dawn on the front, and it had like a little skull um, pull on the zipper, and I used to wear this every day with that Abby Dawn, Abby Dawn jacket. And I loved it. Like, I, it was amazing. And, like, that jacket had that smell on it. Um, and then I smelled again. And I think a dog poop. <laughs> I know, big difference. My dog actually, um, when we first had her, she was rescued. And she pooped in the side of the house. We went out to eat. We come back and she pooped. And it smelled horrible. So I got the strongest smelling perfume I had at the time. This was, like, a year and a half ago. And I'm spraying it around everywhere. And um, that's why. And I couldn't wear it for a long time. I really only wear this um, when I have, like, a fancy event. Because this is, it's very, it's very sweet. Um, I'm not going to say it's a nighttime scent. Um, it kind of makes me think of going out to dinner at a Japanese steakhouse. You know, going, just going somewhere fancy. Whereas, like, the Paris Hilton makes me think of going somewhere fancy but looking like a slut to pick up guys. So, but it smells good. <laughs> but yeah, so this is definitely a very, very sweet smell, um, and it's very strong as well. So I don't wear it often, um, but I think it's the most used out of all of my perfumes, like legit perfumes. Oh, maybe not. It depends. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. And then I have Britney Spears Believe. Um, this is probably my favorite out of my two Britney Spears. Um, and I love the bottle design. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. So, it's also a very sour um, smell. I'm, like, spending more time on these perfumes as the video progresses. I apologize. But, yes, um, I definitely think of this as a daytime scent. Um, afternoon, morning, almost, like a brunch. Like, this is something you'd wear to brunch. Right here. It's it's a very... Um, no, I don't want to, you know, when I say sour, I mean it's not, like, sweet. It's just kind of, it just has that nice smell to it. It's just nice. You know, and it's got, like, that little engraved heart, which I don't think you can see. My camera doesn't have good focus. But it smells nice, and I just don't wear, like I said, I don't wear a lot of perfumes anymore. Um, I wear more body mist because they're not strong. But it's still nice, and I love it. And I actually got a bunch of, like, sample Belize stuff when I bought this because it had just come out. I believe it just came out when I bought Fantasy, and or they were like advertising it. It was about to come out, 
And so I had a bunch of free stuff, and I gave it all the way to my friend's mom on a field trip because she fell in love with it. So I eventually bought it myself at, like, the drugstore. But, um, that's <laughs> one good thing about drugstores. Cheap makeup and cheap perfume. And then I have, um, Justice Sunshine. So Justice is the store that used to be limited, to. Um, I don't go in there anymore. Um, I used to go in there, though, because they do have actually really good smelling perfumes. So, um... The two times, I've gotten stung by bee, a bee three times. One time this past summer and two times the previous summer. The two times I got stung by a bee, the previous summer before this last one, I was wearing this. So it's a very summery scent, obviously. Um, but sunshine's a good name for it because it may, really makes you think of going outside and playing in the flowers. It's just, it's a very fresh color and I haven't smelled it in a long time so I haven't worn it. But and it's very light too, so this is definitely something you could wear to school in my opinion. And it's very small and it's just like cute and simple compared to all these other bottles, you know? You know, it's cute and simple. <laughs> so yeah. So I had used a lot of this one too, but um you know, it's smaller than fantasy. So I think overall I have used more fantasy. It's just bigger, so it doesn't look like I have. I should probably move my phone, you know. But have more places to put my perfume. So lastly I have my Avril Levine perfume. Um I think she has three out now. I haven't smelled her new one. I don't even know what it's called. It's like... The one before it was like Secret Rose or something? I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I haven't smelled it. Her second one, I just remember her second one had a barbed wire ring on it. And I smelled it and I almost bought it just because I'm a huge Avril fan. But I didn't because it was just very, very strong and I personally didn't like it. I haven't smelled her new one. Um... And I don't know what kind of ring it has on it. Because she puts, like, little jewelry. I forgot what kind of ring it is. But I have Black Star. And mine did. You can see it, like, right there. It's moving around. Um, and mine did have a spiked ring on it. Because Black Stars do come with the studded rings. Um, and I wore it to school one day, like, for Punk Star Day or something, over a year ago. And I, I wore it home. And I must have flung my hand. And it came off. So I haven't seen it in a long time. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My battery died, so I'm just going to start from the beginning. Or not the beginning, but where I left off. So, um, my last perfume is Black Star, and it is by Avril Lavigne. And I don't know where I'm going to cut my previous footage, but I think I'm going to cut it to the point where I smelled her other perfumes and stuff. Or I haven't smelled her new one. But anyway, let's hope my battery doesn't die again on me. And it, uh, it said on the website that it's like a plum dark chocolate smell. I love it. It's my all-time favorite perfume. Gil Avril. Once again, the spiked ring is missing. Uh, the studded ring is missing. So in case I cut that out, I am missing the studded ring. I lost it. Because it's too big for my fingers and I was stupid and wore it. So, that kind of sucked, but it's okay. Um, so I love it. My stepmom hates it though, so I never get to wear it. But it's, it's definitely a nighttime scent, um, I think. Yeah. It's like a clubbing scent. <laughs> That's what I think of. Um, although I don't go clubbing, I'm only like 14, so that wouldn't work. <laughs> Darn. No, I'm just kidding. So these are all my perfumes. I'll go through them one more time. Black Star by Avril Lavigne. Moving stuff over there. I have the Paris Hilton perfume by Paris Hilton. I have Siren by Paris Hilton, small one. Can Can by Paris Hilton. Britney Spears Fantasy, Britney Spears Believe, Pink Fresh and Clean, Pink Soft and Dreamy, this random ginger scent, I don't know where I found it, well I found it in my stepmom's room, I don't know where she found it, it was a gift for her, Justice Sunshine, uh, then of course Bath and Body Works Dark Kiss, uh, Paris Amour Glitter Body Spray, or Shimmer Mist. Country Chick. Warm Vanilla Sugar. And I have a little sample of the JB. Someday. No, I never even said the name of it, I don't think. But yes, it is Someday, JB. Yes. Someday I will meet Justin Bieber. Well, not the commercial, I don't know. Okay, um, and then lastly, what I keep them on, because I, I just, I got a brag about it. So, yeah, you can see, like, my camera in the corner of my vanity. Woo, and the light. Okay, so this is what I keep my, um, it's awkward, I'm, like, showing you my crotch there. No, that's not working. Okay, so this is what I keep them on. Um, I love using a mirror. Like, I didn't use one, 
And now I love it because it reflects them and it of course makes the area seem a whole lot bigger. So I really do like it. Um, I bought this at an antique shop, a local one. It's from the 1920s. It cost me about $20, $25. Um, so it's actually a pretty decent price for like a 90 year old mirror. I think she said 20s or 30s. But it used, and it's the original frame and the original mirror and everything. I'm trying to like show it to you. And um, it used to be a wall mirror. Like there's a little thingy on it, but I taped it over because I just used it and I put my perfume on it. So that's all, guys. I really need to wrap it up so my battery don't die again. So I charge it for like five seconds, then I put put it back in my camera. But yeah, anyway, um, subscribe to my main channel. Subscribe to this one. You know, watch my videos. Promote me. Love me. Caress me. No. Okay. Um, yeah, so hopefully next time you see from me, um, I'll be filming in a different location because I, I want a tripod. Oh, so I use a miniature one. I use a miniature tripod. <laughs> And, um, so, I need a big one, and I'll have a better way to film. Okay, so I will see you guys later, and, um, subscribe, and check all the links below. Bye!